Okay, on today's tutorial, we're going to create a action card that you can drag up from the bottom, drag back down, or click to open. And then also it has some interactive elements uh, within it. So there we are. Have it a drag up interactive um, slide up panel. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just a We'll just start creating a frame. It doesn't have to be anything fancy at the moment. We're going to give it 16 corners and I'll make it my style. Okay. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, a little drop shadow to this guy. I'm just going to go 0, 12, 10. Okay. And now we can add a title. So let's put card title. Sets. All right, this is looking good. Card's a little small, but that's okay. Um, we're actually going to set the width of this. Um, so I'm going to set it to three six three sixty, um, which gives us about fifteen inches or fifteen inches, fifteen pixels on on either side of a, a three ninety wide mobile screen. Uh, and then we're going to need a little, it doesn't really matter what you, where you put these because we're going to use auto layout in a minute. Um, and then we need a little handle. So to do that, I just use a rectangle. Uh, eight looks good. We'll set it to black at maybe 40. Ramp up our corners and there we go. All right. So now we can actually kind of set, uh, we don't need to do auto layout just yet. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put our actions in here. Um, so I've already created some of the components like the button and the book form and the calendar. So we're going to go ahead and add those in. So I'm going to add a circle button with a calendar. I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to swap out for mail. And then I've created a, a special like button that's got an animation. You can see animated buttons in one of my other tutorials. Um, for some reason, when you do instant swap, Figma doesn't like to sometimes pass the colors through. I'm not sure why. It's kind of ridiculous, but hopefully they're fixing it. So select all those. Shift A gives us an auto layout. I'm not happy with that. And now we're going to build our uh, interaction area. So we're going to make it a frame. We'll drag it to the full width. I don't know how big it's going to be. but uh, In this one, we're not going to use auto layout for the frame. Um, but I'm going to grab the calendar component I've already made, get it in there. So yeah, I need to make this whole thing just a little bit bigger. So there we go. That's good. Uh, and then I'm going to add, I've got a booking form. I'm going to drop that in there too. I'm going to select these two and I'm going to hit auto layout. So that's all good. Um, the one thing I want to do is if I hold down Option on a Mac, I don't know what it would be on a PC, Alt maybe? I got 62 padding um, from here to the calendar. So I want to double that for the space between. So that's going to give me 124. Uh, and then that should put that at an equal distance from the edge. Because this is going to slide over, basically, is what's going to happen. Okay, so that is good. We can now take our frame, hit auto layout. Our width is still good. Uh, everything else looks good. We've got our slide up card. Uh, actually, we're going to set this guy to select it. Okay, there's our slide up card. So we'll call this card. We'll call the slide up card, actually. Um, nope, I lied because. I want to call my container that. Okay, card. Now the one thing we need to do is frame this card. Um, and before we even do that, I want it to sit on the bottom. So I'm actually going to break apart my border or corner radiuses. And I'm just going to drop the last two to zero so that it sits flush against the bottom of the screen. Okay, uh, so now we're going to add a frame to this. And basically why we're adding a frame um, is because this is going to be kind of the mask or the window that allows the card to slide down and slide up over top of um, all our other content on the screen. 
Um, so there's a few things you can do here. The trick I use is I'm going to set this height to the height of whatever device I'm going to use. So it takes up the full screen. So uh, in this case, I know for like the, if I'm designing for the iPhone 13, it's 844. So I'm going to set the height to 844. And then we're going to take this and we're just going to put that at the bottom. Okay. And we're going to call this a slide up card. 844 seems pretty tall. Whatever. Um, okay. So once you've done that, you can turn that into a component. You're going to add a new state. Uh, we're going to call this uh, form. And what we're going to do here is we will set this guy to selected. Of course, the selected color doesn't come through. So we're going to have to adjust that. Take our other one, put it to default. And then I'm going to grab the auto layout in here. And I'm just going to slide it over and right in the center, it should snap to the corner. So there we go. Now this is our booking form. So when you click this, that whole thing will slide over. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to want our collapse state. So we'll add one more. We're going to take our card title and I'm just going to drag it down and we will bring it down to about, there's kind of a good collapse state. All right. So from here, we're going to wire this up. So we're going to take this button and prototype it to this state. Uh, Smart animate. Um, I'm going to use bouncy because it's obnoxious. So we're going to do that. And then when you click this button, back to here, bouncy is fine. Uh, and then now for the magic of the slide up card. So make sure on your last uh, variant and we'll call this collapsed uh, you select the card because you want that's where you want the interaction to be on and then drag it up to the first one and on tap works we're going to change that I don't want it bouncy I'm just going to go maybe like that is fine okay um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a second interaction and that one it, it put it as a drag and that's great because we're going to change that and set it to the top so now you can either click or you can drag um, and then the next thing we're going to do is select this card prototype it down to the collapse state uh, on drag the smart animate stuff is all good and then we're gonna also going to do that for the second state so that no matter what state it's in you can still drag it down and collapse it so on drag. So that should actually work just fine. So now if I create my iPhone 13, uh, I'm just going to add in some fake content now. It doesn't need to be crazy. I'll make it the width of it. Um, and then we can grab our component called slide up card, drop that in, and we are going to center it stick it to the top and now when I prototype this uh, the first thing we want to do is that we actually want to select this and we want to set the state to collapsed there we go so now when we prototype this hopefully it should all work so here's our content and here's our card it's a little further down than I wanted uh, I'll have to adjust that but if you tap on it there you have it, it slides up, or you can drag it down, or drag it back up. Our interactions all work within the card. Look at that, beautiful. All right, now one trick is, because uh, I'll probably get this question, if this is, if you're using auto layout for your screen, and you've got a whole bunch of content, let's say, how is that gonna work? So you can take this, make sure, actually you don't need to make sure anything. Um, I always like to set my auto layers to the center, but it doesn't really matter. So take your screen, make sure you hit absolute position, center it, bring it to the top, and uh, make 
make sure you hit fixed position when scrolling. So now when you preview it, it's there. You can scroll through all your content. And at any point, you can drag it up. And everything still works as it should. So there you have it. A collapsible and expandable by dragging uh, action card. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, check out the other tutorials, and um, keep innovating with Figma. Uh, if you have any better ways or any suggestions, put them in the comments. Thank you very much. See you next time.